G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds you all well. Today's video we're looking at some fresh and new updates to the remove tool within Adobe Photoshop and I think you're really going to like these ones. It's working really well and one thing that I have noticed is that the resolution seems to be improving. I don't know if it's just something that's looking that way on the particular images that I've chosen for today but it's looking pretty good. So let's have a look at how it works and the results that we're getting. So what we're going to do is we're just going to select the remove tool. Shortcut is J. You can see we've got the uh, circle selector there for our mouse. Uh, using your brackets, you can increase or decrease the size. You can also increase or decrease the size up the top left hand corner there with uh, the little slider bar so nice and easy to adjust you will see here as well that we have the option if we just click on this drop down that we have auto it may use generative AI generative AI on or generative AI off now for these demonstrations I'm going to have it on because we really want to maximize the uh, strength of this tool and see what its full capacity is so what we're going to do is look at removing this surfer who's looking out onto the ocean and we're just going to paint with a little bit of extra around uh, the outside of them. There we go. And you can see that it is removing the area and pretty good. Let's have a bit of a look, closer look. I'm pretty happy with that. Now the big changes that we've seen from the original remove tool is occasionally it would replace it with something else whereas this is just removing the item that you're hoping to remove which is a really good update particularly if you're for example working with images where there are people or objects appearing that you just simply don't want to be there you don't want to replace it with anything. If we move over to this image, you can see that we've got uh, a lot going on in this image and uh, the area that I'm particularly interested in is this uh, this boat just down the bottom here. And we're going to do it in a slightly different way. You can see we've got our contextual taskbar there up on the top, uh, across the top there. Now if you're not seeing the contextual taskbar, you just need to go down to window and make sure that contextual taskbar is clicked uh, or has a tick next to it. Alright, so what we're going to do is just, we're going to select our lasso tool and we're just going to draw a very quick rough circle around. You can see it's very rough. Uh, and you can see now in the contextual taskbar it just has a remove tool or a remove button, sorry. Uh, so that's, uh, you don't need to type in any prompts or anything. You just click remove and you can see it's going to go through the same process um, of uh, detecting, removing area and there we go. That's a really good result. Now for me in this water you can see a little bit of something going on there. It's not absolutely perfect. But in my opinion, looking at it closely, and we're looking at 67% at the moment, let's have a look at 100%. You can see there is a little bit of something going on there. It's not absolutely perfect, but I think it's definitely an improvement over results that we've seen in the past where it looked a little bit muddy or lower resolution, and it certainly with close uh, look, you know, looking closely at the area that's been replaced, uh, it certainly um, it certainly wasn't up to the resolution of the other parts of the image that were originally captured by camera. So maybe not a hundred percent perfect yet, but I think certainly we're seeing some improvements there. So grab some images. Uh, so grab some images, have a look at what you can use this tool for, do some experimenting so that when it comes time to a critical image that you're editing, you can have a good understanding of how the tool works and whether or not it'll be suitable for what you're wanting to do. Thanks as always for stopping by. Any questions, of course, are welcome in the comments below and we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.